So till now we have discussed about the definition of pumping lemma and and the proof of pumping lemma using the proposition which is based on pigeon hole principle. So now let us try to see the application of pumping lemma in automata theory. So uh, before discussing about the application, I just want to tell you another way of defining a pumping lemma and that is called contrapositive nature of let me rub it down contrapositive way of defining pumping lemma what does this mean that means we always say that pumping lemma is defined like if l is a regular language then it implies it satisfies the pumping property. So what will be the contrapositive statement for this for this uh, proposition? So we can apply the discrete mathematics uh, knowledge to uh, define the contrapositive statement for this proposition that is any language if a language does not satisfy pumping property this implies the language is not regular I hope you people must be remembering the contrapositive what, what we mean by contrapositive way of a defining proposition contrapositive uh, statement for a given proposition so that is if a implies b that means negation of b implies negation of a so this is the contrapositive statement similarly so here if l is a regular language according to pumping lemma it satisfies the pumping property and the contrapositive statement is if a language does not satisfy the pumping property then it is not regular okay so so this this contrapositive state uh, proposition of the pumping lemma is mainly used to prove that various languages are not regular okay so in exam most of the questions are asked to prove that a given language is not regular using pumping lemma and there we use the contrapositive statement of the lemma okay so let us now try to discuss what is the step so let me write it in so steps to prove that a given language is not regular okay so the first what we have to do is that we have to assume first assume a finite automata okay with number of states equal to k that accepts a given language okay so we so the proof so so the way to prove that a given language is not re regular is is by proof by contradiction so we first assume that okay the language is regular that means there exists a finite automata with k states so we assume that first then select a string select a sufficiently long string w from the language okay such that the number of symbols in w 
value is greater than or equal to k. So the third, second step is we have to select a sufficiently long string from the given language, okay, whose number of symbols is greater than the number of states of the automata. Then we have to divide divide the string w into three substrings x, y, and z such that so so how we divide it that is so you can say so the constraint that w is equal to x y and z so we divide the string w into three substrings x y and z such that the number of symbols in x and the number of symbols in y should be less than or equal to the number of states k and the number of symbols in y that means y should consume at least one symbol okay so these are the two constraints on the basis of which we decompose the string w into three substrings x y and z okay then what is the fourth part then the fourth part is so find an integer i okay which is greater than equal to 0 such that x y to the power i z does not belongs to l what does this mean so so with the first three uh, first three uh, steps what we ensured that we to we assumed that the language is regular which is accepted by a finite automata of k states and we divided the uh, two k uh, sufficiently long string w and decomposed into uh, decomposed it into three substrings x y and z with the constraints given as below now we are seeing that even though we assume that the language is regular but uh, for a given value of i the new string w1 which is x y to the power i z does not belongs to l that means what so so that means it does not satisfy the pumping property so if the language does not satisfy the pumping property what happens so this implies the language does not satisfy The pumping property and this implies that the language is not regular so our assumption is wrong and hence we prove by contradiction that the language is not regular understood so so this is so this four steps uh, means this is the way we prove that a given language is not regular using pumping lemma okay